Thanks for tuning in to another physics lesson with Mr. M. In this video lesson, I'm going to teach you how to use the period formula for a pendulum in order to find the length of a pendulum. So our problem here is find the length of a pendulum that has a period of 3 seconds. So if you take a look at our equation, t equals 2 pi times the square root of L over G. Our capital T here represents the period of the pendulum. Our L represents the length of the pendulum, and G represents the gravity of that particular planet. Um, in this case, we can assume that we are on Earth. So the first thing that we need to do, uh, really with any physics problem, is list our knowns and unknowns. So in this problem, they only give us one known value, which is the period of uh, being 3 seconds. So we know that capital T equals 3 seconds. Based on our equation, though, since the equation has gravity in it, we know that gravity on Earth is a constant acceleration, and that is 9.8 meters per second squared. So even though it wasn't in the problem, we know that value. So that's one thing to look out in case you are working on a problem like this. Um, they don't always give you gravity. So our unknown value, it says find the length. So we know that we are solving for our L value. So at this point, we're just going to plug in our values into our equation. So our period was 3.0 seconds. That's going to equal 2 times pi times the square root of L over 9.8. Now, since on the right side of our equation, it's 2 pi times the square root of L over 9.8, my first step is to divide by 2 pi on both sides. And when you divide by 2 pi with your calculator, make sure you put it in parentheses or else that could throw off the order of operations. So 3.0 divided by 2 times pi gives us 0 0.48. So 0 0.48 now equals the square root of L over 9.8. So our next algebraic move is to get rid of the square root on the right side. And so to get rid of a square root, we must square. And so what you do on one side, you have to do to both sides. So we are going to square both sides to get rid of that square root. So 0 0.48 squared equals 0 0.23. So 0 0.23 is going to equal L over 9.8. And at this point, all we really need to do is throw this over 1, and we will cross multiply to find our L value. So L is going to equal 0 0.23 times 9.8. And so we get our length of 2.25 meters. And that is how you use the period formula for a pendulum, how to solve for that pendulum's length. If this video is helpful for you, please like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for tuning in.